Bisturí de Darwin. Um, my name is Fred Hoyle. Uh, I am the inventor of the well-known words Big Bang to refer to the origin of the universe, but I'm afraid I don't uh, really believe in the Big Bang. I'm, a, generally speaking, not a believer in popular theories. Grande es la fuerza de la tergiversación continua, pero la historia de la ciencia muestra que, afortunadamente, esa fuerza no perdura mucho tiempo. Charles Darwin I don't believe in the Big Bang because there has been a theory rather well worked out of how the Big Bang is supposed to have happened. And it seems to me that it is not uh, likely to be correct. So I, I, there are too many, too many assumptions in it for me to like it, and it is too, too far removed from astronomical observation. Uh, quite obviously, we can't um, observe what happened um, 10,000 million years ago, whereas uh, we can observe what happens in the center of a galaxy today. And so I prefer always to choose the alternative that allows one to carry out observations now. I don't like the idea that uh, something is dependent on, on uh, a cause that I can never verify. So I don't like this because it's in the past, it's all over and done with, I can't, uh, can't get at it as it were. So I, I, I tend to avoid it, I don't like it. <laughs> Scientific instruments tend to be used to support what people believe rather than uh, what uh, one might think uh, is uncertain. The, uh, the idea is not to really to find anything new, but to confirm what you think you already know. And this, is, this uh, tendency, which is probably fairly general in everybody, has taken a tremendous lurch, in, in my view, in the wrong direction, with the development of science due to governments. Uh, nowadays, uh, it's, it, the money used for large scientific instruments is almost always uh, supplied publicly by, by governments and, um, in, in effect, by the taxpayer. And Invariably, it is, it is then only used to support current prejudices. If you go to any uh, telescope uh, committee that uh, allocates time, as people, uh, people describe it, allocating time uh, on the, on, in the use of the instrument, uh, and you propose to find something that they don't want, that, that would be will be uh, opposed to current thinking. You will not get the time. You will definitely not get the time. And if you are a young person who by chance happens to stumble on something that uh, is, not, uh, is not popular, it, it doesn't fit popular beliefs, you again will not uh, get any support if you propose to continue with that work. The, be the best uh, way a person, a young person, can further their career, can advance in their job, is to, if they happen to 
stumble along something that is unexpected is to stop it, to move on to something else. That, I'm afraid, is the way you, one will inevitably go in a democratic society. We're all told that democracy is good, but there are many things in which it is not good, and that is one of them. If in the old days when uh, the support for either the arts or science came from aristocrats, the aristocrat could back his own opinion and to, and to hell with the rest of the world. He could just tell everybody he was going his own way. And if he believed in a certain person, it must have been so with Galileo, mustn't it? The people who supported Galileo, whether in Venice or in, uh, in Florence, must have uh, um, believed in, that he was a good chap and, and continued to, to support him in his work. Uh, whatever the rest of the world thought, uh, was saying about him. And uh, we, we lose that once we go to a democratic society. It all becomes a matter of votes on committees uh, where the members of the committee uh, tend to be rather inferior people.